time we're going to read Ike's Incredible Ink. Don't mind that noise, that's construction outside. It happens when people build stuff, break stuff, stuff. Look at that. Ike's Incredible Ink. It's a little jar thing. Check it out. It's blurry. Now it's better. Fix. Autofocus. Hey, Groovy. Little button on the phone. And we've yet to start the story, and we're 30 seconds in. Look at all these words. These are cool pictures, too. Ike wanted to write a story, an incredible story. He had read many incredible stories, and he felt sure he could write one of his own. He was ready to start. But what should he write about? Oh, he looks frustrated, huh? Maybe he needed to find his favorite pen and have a long chat with his best friend. And a bit of cleaning was also in order. But even then, something was wrong. Something was missing. Hmm, said Ike. Maybe I need... New ink, that's it, said Ike. This book, and this comic, and this book over here, and this map. All are printed with ink. Their very own ink. I need my own ink. First, Ike said, I need the right ingredients. He looked around the room. Shadows, he thought, are like ink. They are shady and shifty and mysterious. He took out a shadow and put it in a big bag. Is he a sorcerer or something? Ooh, weird bird, huh? Next, Ike looked outside. Booga bird feathers, he thought, are floaty and soft like ink. So he gave the booga birds their favorite treat, took a few feathers, and stuffed them into his big bag. He looked at the sky. The dark side of the moon, he thought, is black like ink. It's velvety and pretty and round like a drop of ink. So he decided to go there. He would, of course, need a rocket ship. So he doodled and measured and lugged and planned. It's hard to say what Ike find on the dark side of the moon, because he didn't bring a flashlight, but whatever he found went in that big bag. Finally, he said, I have everything I need. Ah, son of a gun page. Ike set to work. He mashed, he bludgeoned, he crushed, and he steamed. That would be bludgeoned. Bludgeoned, if you don't know that word. Crushed. Bludgeoned. Steamed. Oh, sciencey stuff, right? Right. And he was definitely messy. Well, looks like it exploded. Forgot to put the top on. Oh my. Ike bottled up his new ink. It looked pretty good. He sat back down at his desk. And he started to write an incredible story. And that's it.